Good morning. It's Monday, August 29th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Wise Choices, and our scripture's Proverbs chapter 2, where Solomon writes, My child, listen to what I say and treasure my commands. Tune your ears to wisdom and concentrate on understanding. Cry out for insight and ask for understanding. Search for them as you would for silver. Seek them like hidden treasures. Then you will understand what it means to fear the Lord, and you will gain knowledge of God. For the Lord grants wisdom. From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. He grants a treasure of common sense to the honest. He is a shield to those who walk with integrity. He guards the paths of the just and protects those who are faithful to him. Then you will understand what is right, just, and fair, and you will find the right way to go. For wisdom will enter your heart, and knowledge will fill you with joy. Wise choices will watch over you. Understanding will keep you safe. Making wise choices isn't just a good and smart thing. It's how we were hardwired by God. Kicking against that plan just isn't smart. Revered Christian apologist and author C.S. Lewis wrote this, quote, Every time you make a choice, you are turning the central part of you, the part of you that chooses, into something a little different than it was before, and taking your life as a whole, with all your innumerable choices, all your life long you are slowly turning this central thing into a heavenly creature or a hellish creature, either into a creature that is in harmony with God and with other creatures and with itself, or else into one that is in a state of war and hatred with God and with its fellow creatures and with itself. To be the one kind of creature is heaven, that is, its joy and peace and knowledge and power. To be the other means madness, horror, idiocy, rage, impotence, and eternal loneliness. Each of us at each moment is progressing to the one state or the other. Solomon, according to God's word, was the wisest man of his generation. His writings reflect that wisdom. And in this advice to his children, that wisdom instructs them to turn their attention to God's ways. They will find their lives will be blessed proportionately to how well they tune their ears to God's teachings. If our choices in life rest solely on our feeling or the mood we were in when we got up this morning, the result of our life will be as chaotic as the messy world in which we live. If our choices are consistent with just what our friends think, we're as liable to fall into the same kind of holes as they do, prisoners of our own making. Absent of the study of God's word and ways, we are at the mercy of the coin flip. Heads I go this way, tails it's the other way. If the choices you make create you as a heavenly or hellish being at the other end of those choices, leaving the direction of your life to the coin flip is hardly a plan to inspire confidence in the outcome. For you today, take the road less traveled today. Follow God's wisdom and watch it take you to the throne room of heaven. It's there you'll meet the King of glory. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.